The Eclipsed Soul Prayer just got a pretty significant buff, and it's firmly cemented itself into RuneScape's PVM meta with normal prayers for the first time since probably Ancient Curses were released. To set the table with the new Divine Rage prayer that came out with the Sanctum of Rebirth, combined with the Amulet of Zealots, the standard prayer book already offers a massive 9% more damage than a tier 99 Appraisal Codex prayer with a lower prayer level requirement and no need to unlock ancient curses. So purely from a damage standpoint, if you're not worried about healing, you're not worried about utility, and you're not worried about accuracy, normal prayers already do an absolute ton of damage. And on top of that already top tier damage, Eclipse Soul offers an opportunity to heal with an overhead prayer. So it's basically a miniature soul split on the normal book with far fewer requirements. In addition to this heal, it also offers 4% additional critical strike chance whenever active, which combined with the already very high damage is really significant. When the Gate of Elidness came out and with it the Eclipsed Soul Prayer, although it seemed really good, there were a couple weird interactions that made it very difficult to use. Most importantly, whenever disabling the overhead or flicking it in any way, you'd instantly lose the heal completely. This made the trade-off between normal prayers and curses very harsh. You had to choose between the best damage and no heals, or a little less damage and an absolute ton of heals through soul split. But that's now been fixed, and you can flick a clip soul while retaining the heal. This is how it works. Every time you critically strike, you get a small heal for the next six seconds. With a clip soul active constantly and enough crits, you'd be healing for just over 10,000 HP per minute. 10,000 HP a minute is nothing to sneeze at. It's not bad at all, but compared to Soul Split, that is extremely minimal. But is it enough to make normal prayers actually worth using over Ancient Curses? Let's get into it. For starters, with Necromancy and Ranged, normal prayers are always going to be worse than Curses, because both Ranged and Necromancy get a lot of their damage from Split Soul, which requires being on Ancient Curses to use, as it's combined with the Soul Split Curse. But for magic and melee, you're now gaining more critical strike chance and significantly more damage at the cost of your accuracy and your healing. There's a legitimate case here that on these two combat styles, normal prayers are literally better. To start things out, I went to Raksha because it's a boss where I know I'll have 100% hit chance and I shouldn't need a ton of healing. The damage and additional crit chance was extremely noticeable and I absolutely cooked. I was skipping special attacks left and right, and the next time I get a Raksha Reaper and I want to use magic, I am 100% going to be switching to the normal prayer book and doing it on normals. It was absolutely amazing. But what about a more difficult boss that hits a bit harder? For that, I went to Solo Solak. At Solak, although I had to eat quite a bit more food to survive, it went surprisingly well, and I was getting consistent kill speeds between 6.5 and, and 7 minutes, which, while not being fast by any means, is pretty alright considering I took the time to clear the storm and I don't really know what I'm doing, I haven't properly done solo Solak in a couple years. Overall, for this boss, I'd probably rather be on curses and have a soul split, but it was absolutely passable. But next up, let's go to Hard Mode Carapack, where Eclipse Soul and Normal Prayers went absolutely ham. I managed to get a bunch of consistent, pretty fast kills, and I found I really got to benefit from the additional critical strike chance because on phases 1 through 3, I was able to leave on Eclipse Soul a good chunk of the time because Carapack doesn't hit that much during those phases. Phase 4, on the other hand, was quite a bit harder, but this absolutely worked and was passable again. If I didn't have access to Ancient Curses, this would be an absolutely viable and feasible setup for Hard Mode Carapack. Last but not least, I brought my magic setup to the hard mode Sanctum of Rebirth, where normal prayers performed really well until I got to Nakatra, where I was absolutely suffering from the lack of accuracy bonus. On Ancient Curses, I would have been close to 100% accuracy, but my base on normals was a lowly 88%, going up to 92% with a Gothic Staff special attack. In a pinch, it worked, but having below 100% accuracy completely nullified any bonus damage I was getting from being on normal prayers, so it's pretty pointless here, and if you've got Ancient Curses, I would stick to them for the Hard Mode Sanctum. In general, I didn't find the performance to be quite as good when I was using melee, because I really felt the lack of Soul Split. Being able to swap to Soul Split for a couple seconds, deal a ton of damage with melee, and all of a sudden be back on full HP is extremely beneficial, and I just found that I was absolutely guzzling food, regardless of which boss I was at. Even though I was able to clear Raksha extremely effectively, it was noticeably harder, and the same could be said at Elite Dungeon 3, where I perished after taking out Terraket, and I had an okay time at the Ambassador, but it would have been more than an okay time had I been on Ancient Curses. Overall, it felt fine for melee, but because you take some extra damage when you're using that combat style, I think the utility of Soul Split will probably be better for the casual player. That being said, overall, normal curses are absolutely back, and here's how I would recommend using them after testing out the Eclipse Soul Prayer. 
If you use either ranged or necromancy, stick to ancient curses if you have them. For magic, it's really a personal preference, but I liked normal prayers over ancient curses at a number of bosses. Which sounds pretty insane to say, but to me, if the boss hits hard or is hard to hit, curses will be easier, but otherwise, I would stick to normals. In the case of melee, I would use Eclipse Soul and Normals for lower level bosses and bosses that don't hit very often, but I did feel like the lack of healing hurt me quite a bit more with melee, so for me, I'll probably sacrifice a little bit of damage and critical strike chance for the convenience of not having to worry about my life points, and I'll likely stick to curses for most of my bossing. So anyway, that's the rundown, and those are my thoughts on the brand new Normal Prayer meta. But there are absolutely moments where I will be using Normal Prayers now, which is something that is absolutely insane to say if you look back to several months ago, when that would be an unfathomable statement. I think it's really cool that Ancient Curses now have a legitimate competitor, and there are some actual stylistic choices that you need to make as a player when determining your loadout. And one of those choices now is do I want to use Ancient Curses, or do I want to stick to Normals? It's also worth considering that normal prayers have significantly fewer requirements, so being able to access this amount of damage, this amount of critical strike chance, and a little bit of healing too is absolutely massive, especially with group Iron Man on the horizon, I'm likely going to be rushing normal prayers instead of what I would usually do, which would be rushing a bunch of old quests and getting curses as soon as possible. But with that said, what do you think about this meta shift? Are you going to be trying out normal prayers? If you do, let me know what you think. With that said, thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.